big. Today is Tuesday and the kids and I actually just got home. We've had kind of a busy morning today. Um, we woke up and did our homeschool and then we actually had a homeschool meetup with a whole bunch of other homeschoolers and we just got back from that. It's a little afternoon now and the rest of the day is kind of an easy day. Um, Oakley's going to have a friend over and her friend is going to bring her brother to play with Barrett and um, while they're here I'll probably just get some cleaning done, some laundry, that kind of stuff and then um, for tonight's dinner, I'm making um, chili and jalapeno cheddar cornbread. So, sounds good, huh? I know, I've been craving it. So, um, I'm going to get that made. It's a super simple recipe. It's, I don't even know if you can really call it a recipe because it's technically just a bunch of cans that I dump and then cook. So, um, I'm going to get that put together. I'll show you guys how I do that. And yeah, that's just kind of the plan for today. Just kind of a relaxed, super easy day. Last couple minutes I have been working on this little project really quick if it gets super loud in the house it's because oh, the kids still have their friends over so anyways I have this little weather chart I saw this idea on Pinterest it was for like a bullet journal and I liked the way that it looked when it was done so I thought we would make one for homeschool so we have the months up here and then the 31 days and then I just made like a little uh, key over here on the side for what colors we're gonna use for what temperatures and so I have the first one on. This was yesterday. Yesterday was 86, so it's yellow. And then we'll wait um, for a more accurate reading for today before we put that on the chart. All right, it's 3.30 and the kids' friends just left. Their mom came and picked them up. And I need to get dinner started. I'm going to do that right around 4 o'clock. So until then, we're going to kill some time. I'm going to read some books to the kids. So we're going to um, read a little bit more of this Adventures with Waffles. We read a couple chapters yesterday and the kids really liked it. And then for Oakley, we picked out Hot Rod Hamster. Hot Rod Hamster was on his way to the junkyard to see his friend Dog. But as he passed the in uh, auto, mm -hmm. auto shop, Something made him stop. Now we do what it says. Yeah. All right, we're walking down to the library. We're gonna return some books and pick up some new ones.
All right, so it's a little after four and I'm gonna head into the kitchen. I'm going to put everything in the Dutch oven just so that everything can start cooking down for the chili. Um, like I said earlier, it's, I don't even know if I can really call it a recipe because it's 99% cans, but I'll show you guys what I use to make my chili. This is everything that I'm gonna use for our chili. This is how I've been making my chili probably since me and Michael have been married, which is like nine years. So, um, wait, have we been married nine years? Yes, we've been married nine years. We just celebrated nine years. Okay, anyways, this is how I make my chili. You can use ground beef. I'm gonna use ground turkey today. And then I just get the Winco chili mix. I'm going to add some red, red, oh my goodness, crushed red peppers, a whole onion, some garlic, and then the rest of this stuff is all canned items. I get these chili beans and tomato sauce at Winco. I really like these. So I'm going to add two cans of those, a can of black beans, a can of great northern beans, a can of kidney beans, one can of tomato sauce, and two cans of diced tomatoes with green chilies. So it's a super, super simple recipe. It's one that we all really like. So this is going to make quite a bit, so hopefully I'll have enough to freeze. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the next couple minutes opening all these cans, and then I'll show you guys how I throw it all together. All right, I have my helper here. Dirt's going to help me. What are you doing? Dirt's going to help me cook the chili. I have my Dutch oven. There's a tiny bit of oil in there. And the first step is we're just going to brown the turkey meat. Hey. Can I help you with that? Okay, you want to just be careful. It's hot, okay? I'm going to help you. Stab it. Yeah. Yep. So now that the meat is browned up, we're going to add the onion. I diced it up. Yeah, don't cut yourself. Oh, well, this isn't a knife. I know, but it is still stout. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to cook these just a little bit, just till they start to get soft. So next, I'm just going to add some garlic. All right, so now that the meat is browned, the onions are a little soft, we've added our garlic in. Barrett is going to add this chili seasoning mix. Yeah, all of it? Yep, dump it all in. Thank you. That's brown meat. Mm -hmm. Smells good though, huh? Yeah. Alright, next is the part that Barrett's been really excited about. Be careful, it doesn't splatter. He's going to put one can of tomato sauce in. Dump it over here. Yep. Good job. Yeah, put that in there and then just scoop, okay? I'll hold it. That way you can use your hands. Good job. Thank you. All right. Next can. Hold on. Stir that around. That looks so good. It does look good, huh? Mm -hmm. Next, we're going to add our two cans of diced tomatoes with green chilies. We're going to add all the juice and everything. Go ahead and dump yours in, bud. Oops, there you go. It's okay. Thank you. I dump it in? Yep. So next, Barrett's going to dump the beans. These are the white beans, kidney beans, and black beans. I'm gonna put that in the sink for me. Stir those in. Can I stir them in? Yep, just be careful because it's still pretty hot. Can I stir them in? Mm -hmm. All right, and the last thing we're gonna add are Can these add chili beans. I'm gonna add this one in because they're pretty saucy. So we're gonna add two cans of these chili beans. Get that spatula. Saucy. Because there's a lot of juice in them. I didn't drain these ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to stir that up? Good job, bud. All right, I'm going to have Oakley add another can of tomato sauce. I just feel like it's not quite saucy enough. 
So she's adding that right now. Spatula. Um, yeah, let me get my spatula. All right, so that's the consistency I like. Not super runny, but that was a little thick before. So the last two things that I'm gonna add is I'm gonna add, oh my goodness, I can't get it out. I'm gonna add a little pinch of um, red pepper flakes. And then the last thing I'm gonna add are these, um, oh no, what are these called? Chipotle, Chipotle peppers. And, oh yeah, chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. That's what it is. So I'm just going to add, I'm not going to add a pepper. I'm just going to add a little bit of this like sauce. Um, it's a really smoky flavor. So I'm just going to add a little bit. I don't want it too spicy for the kids. All right, can I see that and stir it? I Careful. So this is what it looks like. All done. Now it's five o'clock right now. I'm just gonna turn this burner on low, as low as it will go, and put the lid on and just kind of let all these flavors um, marinate together. All right, it's a little bit before six and I figured I would get our cornbread started. Um, I'm just gonna use Jiffy yeah. Box cornbread mix. Uh, maybe this is an unpopular opinion, but this is the best cornbread. I've tried making cornbread from scratch. I've tried different brands. This one is by far the best, which is fine with me because it's like 50 cents a box. So you're just going to make it how it calls on the box. So you're going to do the mix, one egg, oops, and then one third cup milk. You can use almond milk or cashew milk. It works just the same. And then oops, I'm going to mix that up. All right, once it's mixed, you're going to add some jalapeno. I just have two really tiny homegrown jalapenos that I just diced up, seeds and all. Um, if I was using a super spicy jalapeno, I probably wouldn't add the seeds, um, but these ones are actually pretty sweet. And then you're gonna take some cheddar cheese. I'm using this shredded lactose-free cheese, and I'm not gonna measure it, you just do a handful. <laughs> You just mix that in. All right, and that's it. So the next thing you're gonna do is grease a cast iron pan. This is a nine inch cast iron pan. And then you're just gonna add it in. Super simple, super delicious. It's one of my favorite things to eat with chili. And then just kind of spread that out. And then you're gonna pop it in the oven. It takes like 15, 20 minutes to bake at 400. All right, I just pulled the cornbread out of the oven. It's nice and golden and cooked. Um, so now I'm just gonna get everybody's plates ready for dinner and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so dinner is done. The kids have already started eating. I don't even know how it's so hot. But I just have my chili, cheese, sour cream, and a little bit of salsa, and then this jalapeno cheddar cornbread. All right, guys, Michael just called, and he is on his way home. So the kids are, and I are going to eat now. He can eat later when he gets home. But I think I'm going to end the video here for today. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for tagging along, and we'll see you on the next one.